I didn't think there'd be any tears at Swag Media Day. <laughs> so here we are trying to keep it together. Right. Uh, I like to ask about personal stories of overcoming obstacles, and perseverance. Or what? What is something you had to fight through, overcome? Something that you can look back on and, and find motivation and strength because you got through it to to get to this point where you are. Uh, I would have to say, you know, it was probably my senior year of high school. You know, when I was out there in Texas, Houston, Texas. You know, Hurricane Harvey happened, so you know, Hurricane Harvey ended up losing everything we had in that flood. So you know, going through that, that was like something that you know. Cause you know, going through that through all my senior uh, year football season with like homeless, being homeless. I mean, it was uh, maybe five of us in one room. You know, all of us stuck in one room, so you know, no privacy, nothing like that. You just going through out there throughout your whole senior football season, on top of you know the stress of trying to get offers and all this. So you know, that was just something that was crazy. So you know, and I was able to actually you know just just complete the season. You know, we was actually able to you know get us a home and all that. So you know, after going through that flight, I can go through anything. Just you know, seeing how you know, we had to sacrifice everything we lost. Just watching my mama, you know. So each and every day, that's just something I look back on for motivation. You know, somebody, it's a place I don't never want to have to go to again. So this was on the hit on the hills of, the, of a hurricane. Uh, yes, sir. And and where did you guys have to go go live? Uh, essentially, we, we stayed in the. Uh, we had to go to the George R. Brown Convention Center. We stood there for like three days. Then we we ended up moving with my uh, mother's coworker. So he let he let us stay in there. Uh, he let us stay in the room with them. It was all five of us just packed in there. I'm talking about like. Sardines with the little clothes, the little belongings you do have. So we had all that and just. How, how long just did us. you have to stay there? Uh, I want to say from about uh, August throughout maybe like that next February, the next or that next year. That was like majority of your. Yeah, senior majority year. of my senior year was in there. Like I think I went to uh, the whole season. I was in there, like I mentioned, maybe like homecoming, all that stuff, all that stuff. You know, all the little uh, senior things you have to go through. I was spending that, you know, homeless. How did you, how did you keep it together? Like a lot of people might have folded in this. Situation. Uh, just knowing, you know, just you know, being the man in the house. You know, I got my family, my little, my young brother looking up to me. So you know, if I'm out, there, if I fold, I, you know, I crack under pressure. You know, what kind of zip I set for him? So it was just you know, something like you know, just wanting to be the one. You know, the uh, sense of face like for the family. Just you know, they, they look at me, they see I'm still going through all this. I'm keeping it pushing. So you know, just sound like a sense of courage for everybody. So in that room, you, your mom. My brother, my younger sister. Brother, younger sister? Yeah, and her boyfriend. That's six, eh? Nah, this uh, is five. It's just, it was me, my younger brother, my younger sister, her boyfriend, my mama. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. I would imagine, and, and I don't want to count people's money or, or get too far, but if you're able to fulfill your dream, like, those, those are the type of things you think about, man, I can make sure people don't have to go through something yes, like sir. that again. Think about that? Uh, yes, sir. All the time, you know, I think about my mom my life all the time. You know, she sacrificed everything she had for us. So, you know, I wouldn't even be who I am without her. If I ain't have her in my corner, you know, sacrificing, you know, doing what she got to do, coming out of work to come to the games, taking us to football practice. Like, when she, it's like, as soon as she get out of work, she ain't got time, you know, going to get undressed yet. She just, you know, giving giving us all she has. So I feel like, in my way, this is a way to repay her. I can never repay her fully, but if, you know, if, if I can, you know, take care of give her a home or, you know, a car, you know, just something like that. This is so that, you know, I'm grateful for everything that she has done for me. Where did you guys end up going once you cleared that? Oh, we ended up moving back uh, in, a, in the area of the high school. See, King, that Sheldon area in Texas. Okay. Okay. Wow. There had to be moments where you just thought, man, I might not make it to what I'm trying to do. Exactly. You got that pressing situation. The offers aren't coming yeah, they in. They weren't like coming in at all. Each and every week, you know, they coming in just blowing smoke up, you know, smoke up my in my head. Honestly, you know, they just talking about how they. You know how I look like I'm a raw prospect. They might offer me, but you know, at the end of the day, the offers never came through. So, you know, if you ain't PB though, you know, actually just have that faith and just, you know, give me the offer without having to go through all the, oh, you raw, all you this, you know, we don't think you're ready yet. Or, you know, sit back and wait to see who offered me first. So, you know, make sure if, if I'm good enough prospect to offer. So for them to, you know, just stand out on that curve, on that faith of courage and believe in me, you know, just so, you know, how important they are to me. Wow, thanks for sharing that, Mark. No problem. That's these are things that we don't ever know, man. Yeah. We just see you guys like you're a video game out there playing. And you're like real people. You go through real things. Yeah. Skylar, what what was something you had to overcome? Man? I mean, and that's that's real relatable, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got, I just got it early on. It's kind of the same situation, you know what I'm saying? That's why we, you know what I'm saying? That's why we're so close, because, you know what I'm saying? We can relate to things like that, you know what I'm saying? Mine just happened a little earlier with Katrina. But that's the past, you know what I'm saying? But on top, on top of that, just, you know what I'm saying, my life as a whole, you know what I'm saying? I'm always, I was always dealing with something, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was, you know what I'm saying, homeless, you know what I'm saying, 
getting stuff together, just being stable, really. You know what I'm saying? That's all I, that's all I really wish for, stability. You know what I'm saying? You think people understand, like, the impact, the lasting impact that Katrina had on people's lives? Like, you know, it was on the news, you know, a couple yeah. of years later, you assume, okay, everybody's it's straight. okay, but, nah, no. No, they, they, you, you wouldn't understand unless you really went through it. You know what I'm saying? You could say this, this, that, and the third, but you had to go through it. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they overcome it. Don't get it wrong. You know what I'm saying? It was, it's an opportunity. Some people never shook back from it. You know what I'm saying? But that's people. Like you said, some people got in that mindset like you asked Mark. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't have no hope. You know what I'm saying? They actually believed that. You know what I'm saying? But if you find hope, you know what I'm saying? You find, find a driven purpose for anything. You know what I'm saying? You'll you achieve whatever you want. What What was the shining star for you, man? The, the kind of North Star that... It, you didn't lose focus on what you needed. I to mean, do. kind of, kind of like Mark. You know what I'm saying? Like I would, we basically went through the same thing. But it was, his was via storm. It was just my life. You know what I'm saying? It was just my life. You know, my my dad, my dad was working at a, you know what I'm saying, car wash. My mom was working at fast food. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have no real, you know what I'm saying, stable home. You know what I'm saying? My brother here, my sister over there, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm like, man, I just really want to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I want stability. So like I said, you like you said, you APB. Thanks for that. You know what I'm saying? I get to go to college. Then I ain't like my high school coaches was a big help too. You know what I'm saying? Once I got to high school, um, at Edna Carr, a lot of those coaches, you know what I'm saying, was good men in my life, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mom and dad dealing with issues. You know what I'm saying? They still in my corner to this day. You know what I'm saying? I just talked to one of my coaches. One of my coaches actually went to UAB, was ain't graduated. So and he was like, you know what I'm saying? They proud of me and stuff like that. So man, I just take all those as go little small trophies. You know what I'm saying? And just want to keep making them proud. And on top now, you know what I'm saying? I'm becoming a young man. I have a daughter. I have a three year old daughter. Yeah, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? So like just being just being the father now, you know what I'm saying? You have to hold yourself to a high stand, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be better than my father and give her the better life she wants. Like right now she at Disney World. You know what I'm saying? Like she living her best life right now, man. You know I'm, saying? I'm not there, but no, that made me so happy. You know what I'm saying? Mark even you know what I'm saying, graduated me like, bro, you know what I'm saying you doing all this, bro, you really take care of a child, you know what I'm saying? That shit, man. <laughs> the child has to be emotional right now. But that's real though, you know what I'm saying? Like we go through stuff like this, but people don't know that. Like you said, like a video game. So I just keep it pushing, for real. Man, I, I have three kids. I was here last night, man. I was like, I'm so happy to, to be here. I was like, man, I miss my son. <laughs> right. <laughs> man, I make me feel like that, man. You be, <laughs> that real, the kids bro. get on your nerves, man, and then you be gone for five minutes, and you're like, man, I miss, miss him, man. For real, man. Nah, That's crazy. I love the girl out my heart, man. For real. Man. You know I, I said, even my that, brother. I didn't think there'd be any tears at Swag Media Day. <laughs> for sure. Here we are trying to keep it together. Right. Uh, what what was your what was your how many offers did you have coming out of um, high school? None actually. Like I said, me and Mark was the same situation. Like I said, I, I um Texas Western offer. You know what I'm saying? I won two state championships. You know what I'm I won championship my senior. Year. I only started my senior year as well. You know what I'm saying? But I was around a lot of good people. You know what I'm saying? With good connections. You know what I'm saying? And I had I actually signed the Texas Western on National Signing Day. But you know what I'm saying? That's in the IA school. But Coach Gamble came back with a better offer. You know what I'm saying? Division one football, full scholarship. You know what I'm saying? Grades, everything was okay. So he can't uh, personally offer me full scholarship. That's my goal. Why not why not take it? Then I'm in the swag, you know what I'm saying? Then people started now I knew I knew about the Bayou Classic, Southern and Grambling, you know what I'm saying? I was probably those schools didn't, you know what I'm saying? Come high level, but I'm I'm I i was not looking at it like that. You know what I'm saying? I still don't hold no grudges to this day, but it's cool. But that's why I'm, I'm always be thankful for you, APB. Man. We saved the best for last, man. Y'all are, are two real ones. Sure. For sure. Look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I was sitting here thinking, I don't feel like breaking this equipment down. I think I might stay in the hotel another day. You, you got me thinking about my kids. I'm, I'm about to, I got some juice, man. I'm about to break this down. I'm about to go home. That is, that is real, man. No, for real. Uh, best of luck to you guys, man. Both, both individually and as a team. And uh, we look forward to, we've seen both sides of it. We, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys are gonna do this year. That's right, appreciate it. All right. And I'm putting on the show. Golden Lions, UAPB, SWAC Media Day, Birmingham, Alabama. This is HBCU Game Day.